everyone. Today I am going to be reading the story of the rainbow and the antelope by Charles Deveau, as told by Starhawk in My Circle Round Book, which has been around for quite a while. Alright, let us begin. Circle round and I'll tell you a story from the Ashanti people of Africa. Two craft spirits, both female and male, came together to create the universe. Nyama and Nyakapan were their names. When they had created the vast world, they took a visible form so that they could be seen and praised. Nyama became the moon, Nyakapan the sun. Between them, they provided all the world would need, dark and light, night and day, so that on earth all life could grow. It is said, that when Nyama and Nyakapan came together, rain fell, wet the earth, and from there, life started. Blooming humankind was created, then, and started enjoying all the goodness that was found on earth. As everything created, started to grow and multiply. So did humankind, just like now. Humans began to notice that there were two seasons, a rainy season and a dry season. And when the rainy season came, there were all kinds of fruits, water to drink, plenty of food. But after the rainy season, they couldn't find much to eat. With time, the problems started to grow because overpopulation and not knowing how to plant, they were in a little bit of trouble. They got together one day and started to look at the sky to call for help. The creators of the universe decided to help them. The rain came down again, but it came down very light. All of humankind saw a great rainbow down to the earth. Where the rainbow touched the ground, they saw an antelope running down the rainbow to the earth. The creator sent the antelope to teach humankind how to learn to plant. The antelope has pointy legs, and where the antelope runs, it makes holes. It ran all over the earth, and it showed human beings how to put the grain in the little holes. Then the antelope ran up to the sky, and the rain came down, and the plants started to grow. The plant that grew then was millet. The people understood that they must plant the grain in the ground in the rainy season and let it grow. That if they did this, they would have food during the dry season. The antelope has taught us how to not only to feed ourselves and feed not only those in Africa, but well, all over the world. And this is why in Africa, the antelope is honored as a life giver and is considered sacred. Now, this during the spring, this is our time to plant and to give honor to all the new seeds and all the new life that is coming during the season. So as you plant, remember that it, without 
the great goddess and the great god, <coughs> we would not be here. And we would not have these blessed seeds and all that there is. Bye.